many of us grew up thinking that blood group O positive is the universal donor. I also thought same too, but that's not entirely correct. And I'll tell you why. Hi everyone, it's not treasure, yeah? Y'all are welcome back to my page. In this video, I'll be teaching you the different blood groups, how they work, who can donate to who, and also talk about the different blood genotypes and their compatibility. We have four major types of blood groups, which are group A, group B, group AB, and group O. And what differentiates these blood groups is what we call antigen and antibody. Antigen is like an identity card. It tells your body, this is me. Your immune system accepts it and does not attack it. While antibodies, on the other hand, are like soldiers or bodyguards that identifies whenever a foreign body or a different antigen enters your body system and attack it automatically. So from this illustration, we were made to understand that blood group A has antigen A and antibody B, group B has antigen B and antibody A, group AB has antigen A and B but has no antibody, group O has no antigen but has antibody A and B. Now what does this tell us? It tells us that people with blood group A have antigen A. Remember I said that antigen is like an identity card. So from the name group A, it tells you that it is A. So they have antigen A and antibody B, meaning they reject blood from blood group B. Then people that have blood group B, from the name, they have antigen B and antibody A, meaning they reject blood from blood group A. People with blood group AB, from the name AB, it shows that they have antigen A and B, but they have no antibody. Then people with blood group O, from O, it tells you that these people does not have either A antigen or B antigen. So they don't have any antigen, but they have antibody A and antibody B, meaning that they reject blood from blood group A and blood group B. So since they reject blood, from blood group A and blood group B, it means that they can only receive blood from their fellow blood group O. So people with blood group O can only receive blood from blood group O. And because these people does not have antigen, it means that their blood can be donated to any other type of blood group. But wait, let's go deeper. When it comes to blood groups, there's what we call rhesus factors, which are proteins that are found on the surface of the red blood cell. So when this protein is present, in an individual's red blood cell, the person is said to be rhesus positive and is denoted with plus. And when this protein is absent, the person is said to be rhesus negative and it is denoted with minus. So now, either of these blood groups can either be positive or negative, depending on if this individual has this um, protein present or absent. Now, here is why I say that blood group O positive is not the real universal donor. Let's say someone has blood group O positive and then donates blood to someone of another blood group that has a negative rhesus factor, like A negative, B negative, and AB negative. When you look at these blood groups, you will see that their rhesus factor differs. This O has positive, while all these other ones has negative. So when you donate this blood to these particular blood groups, there must surely be an abnormal reaction. So people with blood group O positive can only donate blood to other blood groups, but the ones that have positive rhesus factor, like A positive, B positive, and AB positive. But people with blood group O negative, they have no rhesus factor on the surface of their red blood cell. And as well, they don't have any antigen, neither A nor B. So this blood is very clean and very safe. You can donate it to any blood group of any rhesus factor, be it A positive or negative, B positive or negative, and AB positive or negative. So blood group O negative is the real universal donor. So O negative is the real universal donor. And people with blood group A can only receive blood from their fellow blood group A and blood group O since group O is universal donor. But it depends on the rhesus factor whether the A is positive or negative 
to determine if they are going to receive blood from blood group O positive or blood group O negative. So blood group A is equal to A and O. Also, people with blood group B can only receive blood from their fellow blood group B and blood group O as well, depending on their resus factor. So B also is equal to B and O. Then when it comes to people with blood group AB, because they have no antibody, so they don't have soldiers, they don't have bodyguards, it means that they can receive any blood group, any other blood group apart from this AB. They can receive from anybody. Since they don't have soldiers or bodyguards that will fight another blood group whenever it enters their system. So they are known as the universal recipients because they receive from everybody. So blood group AB is equal to a, B, A, B, and O. So they are known as the universal recipients. Now let's talk about blood genotypes. When it comes to blood genotypes, we have five different types, which are AA, AS, SS, AC, and SC. Though these two are very rare. S denotes sickle cell traits. So AA does not have sickle cell traits. AS has sickle cell traits. And SS is sickle cell disease itself. This AC and SC are very abnormal. Now, talking about the compatibility, AA can marry AA. AA can marry AS. AA again can marry SS, but AS cannot marry AS, and SS cannot marry SS. And that's the end of our lecture. If you found this video interesting, please share and follow for more. See you in my next video. Bye!